Here we are, beautiful summer day. I believe it's the first day of summer. I think I heard that. We're at the Cedar River Flow. I just put in. I didn't want to film at the launch because there were some people there. But we're heading out for a overnight with the canoe and do some trout fishing here. Cedar River Flow is a remote 640-acre shallow lake created when they built the Wakely Dam on the Cedar River. We paddled around for a while, stopped at four different designated sites, and I didn't like any of them. They either were right next to a creek with a ton of fresh hatched horse flies buzzing around everywhere. Some of them were on kind of roots. No good spots for my shelter set up. So I found the perfect spot and I went pretty far to get to it. It's right on that beautiful point that we're pulling away from. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, I get there, I load the canoe and I say, yeah, it's kind of shady in here. I could probably throw my other glasses on once the sun starts dropping because these are prescription sunglasses. And I realized I left my other glasses in my jeep. So I unpacked everything, just threw it on the ground, and I'm paddling all the way back to the jeep to get my glasses. And I'll come back and set up camp. So hopefully have some lunch sometime today. That's what's going on. And once I get out here, I'll probably troll for a little while. Might as well make the best of the, the trip here. And I'm trying the Paradox Brewery. Beaver Bite IPA. It's pretty delicious. I've had some Paradox before, but I've never had this this uh, flavor. Beaver Bite IPA, six percent by volume. It's a New England style IPA showcasing notes of orange marmalade, pine, and tangerine. You can taste that uh, little tangerine, a little bit of citrusy, pine. It's very good. I recommend it if you could get this in your area. Good stuff makes this long paddle back to get my glasses a little bit sweeter I didn't troll I just put the head down and paddled like hell um, I figure I'll troll on the way back a little bit I want to get camp set up probably get some lunch so check you in a bit I just picked up this radis and I've had a couple radishes before in the past but I never had a 12 footer 12 footer is really nice lightweight built this seat that just drops in um, kayak paddle really long kayak I forget how many inches or centimeters it is but it's a longer as you can see it's adjustable too I've never used a kayak paddle on a canoe and I gotta say it's phenomenal it's so easy I got a fish on there we go Feel big, probably a little brookie, a little dinner maybe. Oh, it's got a spider. There we go. This little brookie. I didn't bring a net, and I lost him. <laughs> he was kind of little, anyways. There'll be more to catch. I was just trolling back to the the site there, and yep. So this is camp, not set up yet, but got this cool table. I brought a ton of crap. I always try to pack light, but that don't happen. It's cool as it was some wood here, already split wood. Someone, someone left. Haven't been in the fire yet. There's plenty of dry little stuff to start.
So this is camp for the night. I got things set up pretty quick. Sweet bench. Unloaded all my junk there. There's the view. Beautiful out here. Take the walk down. Absolutely gorgeous. This is just a little cove of it. This lake or river flooded area, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty large. Wish that breeze would stay. The uh, deer flies are outrageous here today. I'm hoping they calm down when it starts to get dark, but I've got a few hours before that. I think I'm going to go out and troll around a little bit. Um, I got that one brook trout on, lost it at the canoe. So there's some action out there. I know it. Got to get out there and do it. So I was trolling around a little bit. It got real windy out here. Um, I'm working harder than I want to to keep the boat straight. It's pretty choppy. So I'm going to head back. And hopefully, this. I'm not complaining about the wind because it's keeping the bugs down. But hopefully, it's blowing in circles. I'm picking up. So check back in a little bit later. Burn down some wood, get some hot coals, get some dinner going soon. Good to be out here. Cedar Lake flow. So for dinner tonight, oh real quick, these uh canvas bags, cook kit bags. I will drop a link down in the description. I have these on my Etsy store. They're great for Coleman. Got everything in there. Jammed. Coleman cook sets, um, other cook sets. I mean, look at all the stuff I got in there. All my utensils, wax canvas. So check that out if you want. But anyways, for dinner tonight, we got, got all my coffee stuff there. Actually, I don't even need this, I use this. We got, uh, I've never seen these before, mashed potatoes, so we're going to go with that, and we're going to throw some bacon in them mashed potatoes, and I got some good uh, Vermont Sharp I'll throw in there too, so let's get some water boiling, and we'll get started on that. Also for dinner, nice strip steak, I'm going to cook that in the uh, cowboy pan also have these frequently on my Etsy store. Once again, link will be down in the description. But this will be good. I'm gonna cook that in some butter with some seasonings. Um, I have some ramp salt that I made, wild leeks. I'll put some of that on there, some Montreal steak seasoning. Uh, this picked up at Charlie John's. If you're familiar with uh, Speculator Adirondack area, Charlie John's is the store to go. You can buy snowshoes, beer, bacon, all under the same roof. Get some seasoning on that right away. in there 
guess it expands. There's a line. Fill to here. Okay. And let that sit for one minute, they said. Nice. Some cheese right in there. Bacon. Oh, yeah. We'll let that sit for a minute. Put the lid on. And grab some steak. There we have it. Puko. I'm going to eat. I'll check back with you guys in a bit. I just had to come back. I'll let you know these mashed potatoes are phenomenal. They're real thick. That's cheese. But the flavor, oh my God, the bacon and the cheese too. It's a four cheese anyway, so now it's five cheese. A steak's join a little chaga tea after that fine meal. Chaga, a little bit of lemon juice. I had some lemon pack. I think I'm done fishing for today. The wind did calm down a little bit. It's still got a little bit of chop out there. Nothing crazy, especially in this bay, but I want to be out in the middle. And it is blowing. Plan is to get up before sunrise, get out in the canoe, do some trolling. <clears throat> Wait till sunrise, of course, but get up early, get a little breakfast in me, some coffee, pick up camp a little bit, and uh, do a little fishing in the morning. Then I'll probably come back, pack it up, and uh, head out of here and I might hit a pond on the way in here that I seen that I think is decent for brook trout if I'm not mistaken slept like a champ last night I had to switch around a little bit there's roots everywhere um, it didn't matter what trees I made this pitch off of there was roots so I just need to find a good area a slight slope too so head up obviously if there was rain to forecast I wouldn't have been sleeping under here in this area. I would have found a different setup, but I knew there was zero chance of rain pretty much. There isn't even any moisture on the outside. It was a real dry night. It was cold. Um, I looked at my <clears throat> my phone in the middle of the night because I did get a little chilled for a second. Put the sweatshirt on. I was just in a t-shirt. Um, this is the patrol bag modular sleep system u.s military it's supposed to be good for um 30 degrees fahrenheit but uh that's with clothes on so you know cold sleep system warm clothes things like that anyways the setup was nice with no rain obviously um i do have a hole in I noticed in one of my ponchos that I should bed. And uh, other than that, I mean, this ground pad, I'm going to do a review on this pad. This helped out a lot. Um, normally, I would use a pad and an air cushion or a ground cloth and a pad, not just a pad on the ground like this. Just probably tear this thing up with all the roots and pine needles and rolling around all night. Same for the sleeping bag. But I wanted to do it to give an honest uh, review on this pad. So I'll be doing that video separately. Uh, I did get up, wander around a little bit, went to the bathroom. It's about 6 o'clock, almost 6 o'clock. There's some fog on the water. It just lifted up. It's actually the sun's starting to come up pretty good now. So I'm going to do a quick review on this pad. I think I'm just going to leave my stuff here, grab my phone. My electronics are all under here pretty much, so they're good. And I'm going to get out in the boat, in the canoe, and uh, see if we can get some trout, early morning trout.
absolutely stunning out here at this morning. Water's like glass. That's why I like mornings best. I think it gets pretty weedy down to my left here. That's where the the river flows in. But it's shallow. I was picking up a lot of weeds out here yesterday. I'm gonna head back up towards where I kind of where I caught that brookie yesterday. See if you can't get into some more. You know, it needs a little bit. I'll throw a Lake Clear Wabbler out. A little crawler trail in it. A spinner. See if we can make some sense of today. Fog's lifting off the water. Mountains are beautiful. Clear blue skies here in the Adirondacks. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. This is why people sleep on the ground. No luck fishing. Um, caught that one brookie, but lost him at the canoe yesterday. I trolled all over the place today. This place is really weedy right now. And every time I troll a few minutes, I'm picking up weeds. So camp's all cleaned up. Just how I found it. Maybe a little bit better. Even left a little extra wood over there. We'll call this one a day and pack up. I might hit a little trout pond on the way. Thanks for joining me. Check out the links in the description and please subscribe.